This is a video tutorial about how to put together your own glide track system for your DSLR camera or any lightweight camera that you use at home. I picked up a few inexpensive pieces from Home Depot the other day. Uh, it cost me about $30 in materials. Um, glide track system is used for smooth panning shots, very cinematic look uh, that some of you may be trying to achieve. I actually captured all this footage after my glide track system was done. <clears throat> First piece you're going to need is a 24 inch drawer slide. You can pick these up in various lengths. I went ahead and uh, got a 24 inch to so I could get the maximum amount of uh, glide track. Um, some wooden blocks for support. This will go underneath your, your slider. This is the main accessory. It's going to go on top. It needs to be lightweight. I used a 3 by 3 inch. Um, it's like a press board. It's lightweight. Uh, that way it doesn't interfere with the glide because this will be mounted on top of the track. Um, you'll have to basically work that piece in advance by taking your quarter inch bolt that you can mount your camera to. Take your quarter inch bolt, find the length that's right for you, and screw it up through the 3 by 3 inch piece and secure it with a nut and washer. This will be a pretty general tutorial. I'm sure that anybody that's actually willing to watch this and go buy their own hardware and put this together for their own use will um, come up with their own kind of tweaked version of this design and you'll run into your own problems and you'll come up with your own solutions. Um, make sure your power drill has a very small bit that way because you're going to be using small lightweight screws. Um, I use number four screws. Uh, you can find these in the hardware aisle at Lowe's or Home Depot. You're going to want to secure your wooden blocks um, to the glide track, the, the drawer slider. Uh, the drawer slider that I purchased, it came with um, holes already in the track, so I, I didn't have to, to screw through any metal or anything like that. Make sure those pieces are nice and square and level. Um, two screws will secure it uh, nice and strong, won't be a problem in the future. Make sure you use two screws unless you for some reason want these wooden blocks to be able to turn. So this is the finished base. This is going to be your main support. You want this to be uh, nice and weighted. One thing that you might find helpful in the wooden blocks or your base support is to, to have a heavier or denser wood because that weight is ultimately going to de decide how sturdy your rig is for your slide system. You don't want to slide your camera off to one end and, and one leg come off the ground and you get a shake. Make sure everything is nice and balanced. Um, you don't have to flip your base support upside down and secure the, the camera mount. And like I said, this is a pretty general tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, be just you know you can ask me in the comments and I can give you some more detailed answers. But hopefully you'll be able to figure out how to put all this together, how it's best suited for you. This is how the camera will mount on top of your slider. You can get uh, shots going forward and backwards, and also shots panning from side to side. The camera that I use to shoot this footage is a Rebel T2i. Shot it with the kit lens. Uh, no color correction was added. These are some shots of the, the finished rig. I hope that this tutorial helps. I hope that you can find a way to make it work for you and achieve the same kind of look. Uh, thanks for watching.